Yeah, you know, I I don't think it was the best volleyball that we played all season by any means. Um, you know, I thought we really kind of struggled. Obviously, Logan had some rough nights, um, but it's what makes this team great is that we find ways to win. And you know, um, I thought we really lacked energy in game three and four. I challenged them pretty sternly in game five. Um, and I thought they did a really nice job. And um, I thought Skyler had a good night, but the way that Molly finished the game for us and, and Jenna's set selection was really important to get Molly going. And, uh, you know, we really attacked their, their left sides at, at a high level and uh, it was good. Okay. Uh, Jerry, you talk about the, the uh, I don't know if depth the word, but you have so many players who can help you. Is that what happened tonight, like in that fifth set? Well, I got players that can help me on the court. That's all the depth I have. I don't have anybody I can bring off the bench. You know, in a normal situation, I probably would have liked to take Logan out a little bit, get us some breathing or to kind of just recuperate. But uh, in terms of the players that we have on, yes, we have a lot of depth. Um, and we have a lot of people that can hurt you at any single time. And, you know, a lot of that had to do with our passing. Um, our passing broke down pretty significantly in games three and four. Um, you know, and, and we challenged him. I said, the way that we fix this is, you know, we need to be a middle right side team right now and we need to get this going. Um, and, you know, uh, Skyler had a really nice night, uh, I thought, for, for the majority of the time. Um, but, you know, the way that Molly finished that off with three or four kills or five kills uh, was pretty impressive. Coach, uh, in terms of just like cohesiveness in set four or in set four and set three, what are some things that you saw that weren't working? And then what did you tell the girls going into set five? Yeah, I think uh, we lacked a lot of confidence in, in games three and four. They kind of looked bewildered. Um, they didn't know how to get themselves out of it. I thought Baylor did a nice job with their game system and, and they were passing extremely well uh, and we were not. And so they kind of took it to us. Uh, first thing I said to them was, you know, inhale confidence exhale doubt right now, close your eyes. You know, um, this is a situation that we want to be in and we've got three to four minutes to recuperate and think about how to be a great team. And let's face it, we're not playing very well right now. And if we acknowledge that and go back to the basics of what we can take care of in terms of the way this game is played, we're really good and we know that. And we've been doing that in our gym on a consistent basis. And so we've got to play the way that we can and we've got to find some energy and we've got to be dialed into what they're doing and uh, when we play with confidence, you know, they can't keep up with us man to man. And so I challenged them that way. I told them we believed them and we're going to be cheering for them in game five. And uh, I was really impressed. I'm not sure we would have been able to do that a year ago. Fred at, at some point in the fourth, do you just sort of, or do they kind of concede to where, okay, we just got to move on to the fifth set when you're so far behind? Yeah, you don't want, I mean, the, the wheels came off completely. I was out of timeouts. I didn't have anything else I could do. I put Ashley in to talk to, to Jen a little bit about some set selection stuff going into game five. So we would make sure that we were on the game plan and she hit perfectly in game five. Um, and, you know, you just got, you know, you hope to be able to get, catch your, catch some momentum. So you're going and feeling pretty good about yourself and just, you know, not letting them kind of roll over you. But, you know, who knows? I just know that we played extremely well in game five and it started with the serving. Our blocking was really good. Our transition game was good. And, you know, our touches were good. Coach, uh, the night, the atmosphere tonight at the Frank Irwin, what did you think about it? Uh, it was, you know, it's, it's challenging. It's, it's, it's not what we're used to of Texas volleyball. You know, it's great to have our fans there and it's great, but with 1500 people, it's hard to get that place rocking and, and being a part of it. So, we love having them there. We love having them support us. But, you know, as I told them, I, and I told them that in that in before game five, I said, look, this is this is COVID season right now. We, we, we can't rely on our crowd to get us going. It's got to be every person on this bench. You know, I talked to Donnie, our strength coach, and he was on fire. Uh, we got every person we could to get going to, to create some energy for our team. Um, and, you know, we did a good job. Obviously, we hit 571 and they hit negative and um, impressive. Coach, can you talk a little bit about uh, Nalani's serve? I feel like her serve is so powerful and very impressive. Yeah, she's got, um, I don't know how you, she's got, she's got a heavy hand, kind of like a George Foreman hand. 
you know, and she can hurt it. Like she can do a, a, a great serve with the jump serve, but she also, the way that she hits it in, in the float serve is, is deadly as well. And she obviously put some points on that. And so um, it's nice because the jump serve is not always going to be on, or if there's a matchup that we want to be able to do that, um, we were able to go on some point runs and, and she, she did that in, in, uh, in game uh, five. Um, last one for me. This is the last home match of the year. How are you feeling about that and the team in general? Yeah, you know, it, to me, it's just, I think about Ashley Shook, you know. Um, I've been doing this for many, I've been, this is my 20th year at Texas. I've been doing it more when I was at USC. And this is, you know, the most quality young woman that I've coached. Um, she came in, she started early on in her career and then lost it. And she stuck with us and we wanted to be a part of this program. And, you know, she stayed loyal to it. And she's been a captain of this program. Her teammates love her and she's very selfless. And that, that is, you know, I told her in the locker room, like she has warriors behind us that will always be there for her and, and do this. And it's not the ideal situation. And it, that's one of the hardest things because you care for her so much as a coach. Um, and, you know, you wish you could be able to, to make everything perfect, but you can't. And, uh, I'm just, that was my thoughts all night tonight. And that's why, you know, I wanted her to finish that game out there uh, in game five. Right, you want to do the last one? Last one for me. Uh, would you be up for or envision facing Baylor again in the spring as you prepare for the tournament and you have to come up with some matches? Yeah, that's probably going to be on the board at some point. I mean, we need to find that. You know, I need to see what the tournament is and how – um, how are they going to run it? Like, I don't know if it's going to be regionalized, if they're going to seed it. If not, you know, I, I think we've given ourselves, if we go undefeated in conference, we've given ourselves a pretty good seed. So I just, I need to see how they're going to be able to do that um, and what is benefit for our program so we can have a high seed going into the NCAA tournament if it's held. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. We have the other players coming? Yes. They know that? I don't know if they know that. No, they do. We, we're good. Asia and Bray are right, or not Asia, uh, Skylar and Bray are right there. Okay. Hey, Bray, how did you think of tonight's game and what were just your general thoughts? Um, I thought tonight's game was really good. I knew it was going to be tough just playing like the back to back. And I wanted us to really focus on not taking them for granted. I felt like we knew they were going to come out tougher in the second game, which they did. So I felt really good about how we responded in the fifth set. Go ahead, Roz. What do you think of uh, just the, the way, way you have so many, uh, oops, you know, so many different players who can carry the team for a stretch? Oh, was, wait, could you repeat the question? Sure. Uh, you know, like at the beginning of that fifth set, you had Molly with three quick kills, and, and you've done some of that. Is that the strength of the, the team, having so many people at a, who can do that at a given time, just take over for part of a match? Yeah, I think that's one thing that's really special about our team is we have weapons on like everywhere. So if one player is not on, then we have three more that are. So I think it's really good. And I feel like we're really balanced tonight, too. In set three and set four, you guys faced a little bit of, of adversity. You didn't seem as cohesive. What were some things that you saw? And then how did you address that in the fifth set? Um, I think it was really good to just put it behind us and not get too caught up on it and just move on to the fifth set. And I think we really, really did a good job of not letting how we played in the uh, third and fourth really affect us going into the fifth. You guys all set? I have a, good. I have a couple more. Great. Okay, uh, go ahead. So, you know, there's not a there's some energy here in the Frank Gerwin, but not as much as Greg. Who's someone on the team who just keeps your energy up and what do you do to keep the energy up? Um gosh, there's so many. I really really look for Sky to bring a lot of energy when she does big plays. Jenna too. She always is really hyped. So, those two players really bring like a lot of energy, but 
I feel like a lot of players on our team definitely do with just big plays, just getting everybody excited. So I feel like it's really balanced. Yeah. And what about the crowd in general, just tonight or in general this season? Yeah, I think it is definitely not comparable to the energy level. So I know one thing the coaches really want us to focus on is bringing our own energy. So we've been definitely um, making sure we've been bringing as much as we can to ourselves and getting ourselves like really, really hope so. Yeah. And, you know, for the last, this is your last match of the year, at least for at home. So, you know, what are some emotions that you're feeling and how do you feel ending at home like this? It's definitely a really a bittersweet, especially for uh, Ashley. She's one of my best friends. So just really want to go out there and definitely win for her in senior night. But yeah, it was definitely different playing like Erwin compared to Gregory, but it was a good adjustment and I'm definitely sad. It's our, our last time in there for the year. Go ahead, Mark. Oh, did you think it seemed like midway through that final set, you kind of took over for a bit? Did you, did you figure it's your time there? You know, I was just getting an opportunity to put the ball away. You know, I was just trying to do that for my team and help us be successful. You seem really excited today, Skylar. And, you know, Bree was just telling us that you are constantly bringing energy on the court. So what are some things today you did to, you know, bring the energy for your teammates? I was just trying to keep, like, positive light, you know, and bring some contagious energy so that way we could use it and help us grind through this long match because we really did need that energy to keep us going and get us all the way through set five. In games uh, three and four, you know, the energy was a little low. It seemed like you guys weren't cohesive. What were some things that you saw on the court? You know, I think we were just um... – you know, I think that we were just like taking a while to like get our groove back. We had like a little slip, you know, we thought felt a little comfortable, but I think that once we found that, um, like we got on a little run, we started getting together, started grinding and, you know, working for each other. Cause that's the main thing we were talking about. It's like, it felt like we were playing separately. So like once we started like getting, um, playing together, like we found our groove. When did you, think that you guys started to rally was it late in the fourth or just between the fourth and in the, the fifth yeah before the between the fourth and the fifth set we had a little uh team to walk together you know a little mental switch and I think that's when we went out there and took care of business were you worried no never <laughs> thank you of course things like that what are some things that you tell yourself or you remind your teammates to just, you know, stay positive? You know, I think we just need to focus on ourselves and focus on what we're doing on our side of the net. And I think that will handle its own. We can't really be worried about what they're doing because they're trying to figure out what we're doing. So we just got to play our game. 